Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Welcome back to meal number two. This is going to be a vegetable, cauliflower, cheesy bake with breadcrumbs. Let's uh, get started. So what we have here is some steamed vegetables that we steamed off camera. And here we have some boiled vegetables that we use to make our vegetable stock for our last meal. And we are going to take this and these ingredients here and we're gonna blend them and we're going to layer them in our Pyrex dish. So, shall we? Now we're gonna add some vegetable broth. So this is that yeast that we added to the meal last time and I'm honestly not sure about that. We're gonna save that for last, the jury's out. But instead we are gonna go to our garlic. Almond milk. Uh, oh my goodness. I am such a spiller, that took like everything. And a little bit of cayenne pepper, but if this recipe came from the same folks that invented the other recipe, we're probably going to have to add a little bit more seasoning at the end, but let's give it a chance. That smells very garlicky. So we are going to give this a little blend. So we blended that for about 30 seconds and it looks, it looks okay. So let's give this a little taste test, shall we? Hmm, doesn't taste bad. It actually tastes pretty good. I don't really know how to describe it. I'm not mad at it. So this is supposed to be the cheese and it tastes like salty and, and pretty good. I wouldn't say this tastes exactly like cheese, but I'm not mad about it. Like this is good. So we are going to start by pouring some of this cheese into our dish here. That spreads really nicely. This looks like some, I don't know, some Pinterest shit. And we're gonna take some of our vegetables and another layer of cheese. And another layer of vegetables. I'm going to be a little more careful to not get so much of the natural like liquid that comes along with using frozen vegetables. And now some more cheese, please. And then the rest of our cheese right on top. Oh yeah, there's a lot of it. We'll use our spoon. We'll use our spoon to even the top layer. That's really good. I'm really pleased so far. All right, so now we are going to top with breadcrumbs. So that way as this bakes, it has a nice crispy top layer. These are gluten-free panko breadcrumbs, which are vegan. And I was surprised to find out that a lot of bread is not vegan because of fillers um, that include eggs and dairy. Now we have some thyme and finally a little bit of salt and pepper, which we already went over this. Probably gonna need a little extra just because I don't think that people add enough seasoning. There we go. This looks pretty good. Like I am really hoping to not be disappointed by this meal. Now we're going to put this in the oven. We've preheated it for 400 degrees and we're going to put it in the oven for 30 minutes. So give me one second. Hey guys, I want to tell you to check out my newest video on my podcast channel, Pink Theory. We post new videos once a week on Thursday. We talk about a lot of cool stuff, which I can't wait to share with you. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, ring the bell for notifications, and pop on over to Pink Theory. And don't forget to rinse and repeat, because I'll catch you on the flip side. Mm. All right, so we have our bake in the oven, baking. But I wanted to address something, so I totally decided to purposefully skip this um, yeast 
thing. Apparently it's like a big thing for vegans, a lot of protein, and I need to be ensuring that I'm getting my protein not only to stay healthy, but also eventually I'm going to try and move in the direction of somehow doing like a keto friendly vegan thing so that way I can facilitate some weight loss. But that doesn't really taste good, or at least it didn't in the last dish. So I'm a little bit once bitten, twice shy, and decided I didn't want to fuck up like a good thing with uh, what I have baking. So I guess I just wanted to say that somehow I'm going to attempt to start incorporating this into my meals as the recipe requires, or even if the recipe doesn't require, but it's not going to be today. I need a win. I want my food to taste good and I will work my way up to including this in my future meals, but it's just not going to be today. So I just wanted to address that because I totally decided to not utilize it and I didn't really talk about that too much but um, now I have and boom we're done moving on we are going to take our dish out of the oven it's been 30 minutes or so and I took a peek it looked really good it looked interesting actually it started to really look like cheese so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out and we're going to maybe do a taste test if it's not too hot I'm not sure but we're gonna like pull it out and at least look at it together so give me a minute now is the best part. It's taste test time. I have my handy dandy spoon and we are gonna like jam that in there and taste it and see if the fruits of our labor are sweet and delish. Oh, do you hear that crunch? So first thoughts was, whoa, look at that steam. So if you thought I was phoning it in, bitch, this is fresh from the oven. First thoughts is that it looks pretty cheesy, pretty creamy. It is crunchy and it smells really good. So. Let's uh, see if there's a way we can portion a little off for a taste test without burning off my whole entire like tongue. Two hours later. The next day. I feel like I didn't eat that cute, so I have to do it again. This is really good. It's like really hot, so I don't wanna like burn my mouth, but I'm gonna like this. I think with like a little hot sauce and possibly a tad bit more salt, this is gonna be like fire. I'm really excited. I am feeling redeemed from past efforts that didn't quite go as I expected. Nailed it. Thanks for joining me today. Hopefully you guys had fun watching me figure this shit out. All right, so I don't really have anything else to say. I'm ready to clean up and eat some food. So thanks, bye. some shit.